Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be covering 10 different ways that you can bring more traffic to your blog, whether you're a completely new blogger or perhaps you have a new blog and you're struggling to get traffic to it. And these 10 tips are based off my personal experiences in making a successful blog, uh, several of them actually, and making a full-time income through it. Now these are some of the income reports that I have that I make online in general and most of them actually come from blogging. And I just want to say before I get into the 10 tips that there is a link below this YouTube video that's going to take you to a specific blog post on this specific subject and there I'm going to get into more details about these 10 things so if there's anything that you need further help on to applying these 10 things you can check out the link below this video it'll take you to a page called helpinghandaffiliate.com and it's a website that I created to basically share how to succeed in the world of blogging YouTube making online ads and basically using those places to uh, create an affiliate marketing income. Basically what I do is I promote other people's products through blogs, through YouTube videos, through online ads, and that's how I make a full-time income. So if that's what you're interested in doing, um, I talk about that in great length and how to get started with it and how to make a full-time income with it through blogging, YouTube, online ads, and so on and so forth in the link below this video. So I highly recommend that if that's what you're interested in. Now getting into these 10 tips, I'm going to start with the first one, which is actually quite easy. The first one is using a good theme, and uh, I recommend something like Generate Press. A majority of blogs nowadays are on the WordPress platform, and uh, the WordPress, if you haven't already switched over it, I highly recommend it. Squarespace is okay, Wix is okay, but WordPress, in my opinion, is the best for bloggers. And uh, WordPress has many different themes and templates that are available, but not all of them are good, and a lot of people are not using good themes. Uh, Generate Press, in my opinion and experience, is one that loads quickly, it's mobile friendly, and these two simple changes that you can make to your blog, if it's not already mobile friendly and it's not loading quickly, can have huge impacts on your rankings, positive impacts if you switch. So if you haven't already done so, I highly recommend the Generate Press theme. It loads quickly, it's mobile friendly, and there's a bunch of other attributes that this uh, particular WordPress theme has that makes it a much more positive uh, theme to use for your blog. Okay. So number two is stick to one niche and become an authority in it. Um, my recommendation is, and let me put it this way, a lot of bloggers that I see nowadays make the mistake of blogging all over the place about their day, about the activities that they're engaging in, like a personal journal, and no, nobody really reads about this stuff, no, no offense, but it's the truth is if you want to have a good, successful, viral blog, you want to talk about a specific niche subject that people are really, really interested in. So what I recommend is find something that you're really, really passionate about and center the subject of your blog around that niche topic. So let's say hypothetically I'm interested in make in, in outdoor gardening or like home gardening or something like that. Maybe I grow my own garden outside my house and I have a lot of experience with that. So I would create a blog and I would focus on talking about different products and ways to create your own garden and be successful with it, how to grow crops, how to grow fruits in your backyard, how to grow vegetables in your backyard. Uh, and this is what I would become an authority in because this particular niche subject has tons and tons of people that are interested in it as well. And they're all over the place on the internet. They're on Google, they're on YouTube, they're on other search engines looking this stuff up. And if your blog appears for these searches, you're going to get a lot of traffic from that. So not only are you talking about something on your blog that you're interested in, but you're also a attracting a like-minded audience to that blog. And that's the best place to be because then you could sell products to these people and they're the most likely to buy. So stick to one niche subject and if you need help on that, the link below this video that takes you to the helpinghandaffiliate.com website talks about finding your own niche and help with that, all right? Moving forward, create keyword targeted blog posts related to your niche. So if my niche is outdoor gardening or something like that, I can talk about you know the best tools for outdoor gardening, the best tools for home gardening, the best tools uh, for that kind of stuff. So uh, the best soil to to get to grow crops, the best soil to get to grow vegetables, the best soil to get to grow fruits in your in your home garden. Anything related to the home gardening niche and any terms that I can think of that people look up on Google and other places is what I'm going to be creating blog posts on. And those things that I just listed would be the titles of my blog posts. And that's how people would be finding it on different search engines. Okay, moving forward. Create high quality images with keywords in them. So this is a huge thing and a lot of things that people miss out on. Basically what you want to do is you want to make images, maybe take a picture of yourself in, in your garden, you know, growing the crops or digging the, putting in the soil, digging the dirt out and all that kind of stuff. Anything that's related to it. So if I create a blog post on uh, the best tools to, uh, 
you know, dig a hole in your garden or something like that. I can have a picture of myself digging a hole in my backyard and people can quickly make that connection visually. I'll also take that image and I'm gonna create a title on it which is the same as my blog post title. So if my blog post title is the best tools to use for uh, digging, a hole, digging a hole in your, in your outdoor garden, that's the same thing that I would label my image as so it would rank better and get me more traffic. Moving forward. Create high quality niche content when you blog. This is huge and the best place to be in order to actually make sure that this happens is that if you know your niche very well, it's much easier to blog about that niche. A lot of times people blog about stuff that they have no clue about and it's seen in the way that they write. There's, I'm pretty sure you're watching this right now where, you, where you've read a blog where you, where you were like, eh, this person doesn't seem like they know what they're talking about. And that's an example of low quality content. And contrarily, you probably have been on blogs where you read the content and you're really engaged in the subject, you're really interested to see what's next, you want to keep browsing through more blogs that the person has set up. That's because the quality of the content is good. And usually, if you know your niche very well and you can express your experiences that you've had in the niche through the way that you blog, it's a great way to get people to appreciate that blog and see it as high quality content as well as for search engines to do that as well. So I highly recommend that. Moving forward, focus a lot on making product review posts. A lot of times people get stuck on their blog about what to actually blog about and this creates writer's block and it creates inconsistency in the way that they blog. It's you know one problem after another. So if you know your niche very well, then chances are uh, you can blog about a lot of different subjects. The best tools to dig uh, to create a, to, to uh, dig a hole in your outdoor garden, the best soil for your outdoor garden, the best seeds for you know growing oranges in your backyard, the best seeds for growing tomatoes in your backyard. Uh, I just listed four different things off the top of my head uh, where I can talk about different products and I can actually review different gardening products like a particular shovel or a particular uh, I don't know, whatever else that they have for gardening. There's countless products for the home gardening niche or outdoor gardening niche that I can find and review that people also look up on Google. They look up reviews for these things and if your blog pops up for that, reviewing that product, you're going to get more traffic from it. And then when you multiply it by creating multiple product reviews, dozens of them, 50 of them, 100 of them, and it's all possible in this niche, you can get a lot of traffic from people that are interested in these individual products. And you can promote them as an affiliate marketer as well, something to keep in mind. Moving forward, create backlinks to your blog on YouTube and Pinterest. So in the, in the case of uh, the, the home gardening or outdoor gardening niche, I could create videos of myself, you know, showing how to plant seeds or how to uh, properly water a garden so it, you know, it gets through the whole garden and makes the plants grow better. I can create videos on that and then I can link them back to my blog which gives it a backlink and helps the blog get boosted. And in, on Pinterest, which is another uh, network that I recommend, I have videos on that as well, you can create images and videos as well on Pinterest about the same sub subject and also link it back to your blog. And the more backlinks that you create through these particular methods, the better your blog is going to grow and get more traffic to it. Uh, moving forward, creating internal links. So it's very important to understand that if you have, for example, 10 different blog posts on your website, you're going to want to interlink those blog posts together. So for example, if I'm going through this blog post, which is on helpinghandaffiliate.com, you're going to see this, for example, here are ways to pick niches. And th these three different links take you to three different blog posts that I wrote up on different branches of creating niches. And that's an example of me internally linking from one place in my blog to another place in the exact same blog and that's very important to do. It basically uh, helps people flow through your site better. You don't just want them to read one of your blog posts. You want them to read multiple blog posts and the more the more that they do that, the better your site is going to rank. It's an SEO factor. Moving forward, uh, set a goal of blogging several times a week. People often ask me, you know, what's the best uh, amount of times to blog? Uh, ideally the answer is once a day, so seven times a week. And uh, The worst there really is not no such thing as worst, but in the beginning, I recommend no less than once a week. And once a day is like the perfect amount. As your blog gets bigger and it gets more and more traffic, you can blog less and less. Like my bigger blogs, I can afford to maybe blog once a month on that, but you have to reach that point first. Every new blog that comes up, it takes at least five, six months before it starts getting a lot of good traffic. And before that starts to happen, you're going to want to blog as much as you possibly can. I tell people to have at least 50 good blog posts before that five, six month period so they can have a lot of um, good resume to show for that kind of stuff. It really helps the blog grow after that particular period. All right. 
moving forward. Last one is use specific SEO plugins and connect your blog with Google Search Console. So there's a couple of ways to understand this. So uh, I happen to use what's known as the all-in-one SEO plugin. And what I do with that plugin is it basically just kind of labels my blogs and it's easier for Google to notice what it's about. So for example, if I go to this blog post and I click on edit post, what's going to happen is this is the editing area of my blog and this is what, your, what yours is going to look like, obviously with different content. But if I scroll down and I go over here, see where it says AIO SEO settings, this stands for all in one SEO settings. See where it says post title? It's literally the same as my title over here, okay? And then here, meta description is just me basically writing a short sentence about what the blog post is about. And this is very important for a blog to get ranked initially because when Google uh, and other search engines go through your site and they notice it, this is one of the first things that they're going to notice. And if it's blank, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to notice it. And if it's filled in properly, they're going to rank it faster. So that's just an extra SEO tip to help your blog get faster indexing, faster rankings, and more traffic down the line. Now, I just want to say that blogging is a process. It's not something where you can create one, two blogs and then see immediate results out of that. It's just not how it works. It takes time to grow these things. And the tips that I've given you really help with that kind of stuff. So if this has been helpful to you, let me know. If you have any more questions, let me know about that as well but I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and I do recommend that you check out the helpinghandaffiliate.com website that I'm linking to below this video because it's going to get into more details about you creating your own successful blogging business the same way that I did so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day